We had a saying in the military, proper planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. They call it the seven Ps. Welcome to this masterclass episode where I'm going to teach you guys how to reach milestone X, how to get to 400,000 points free to play. Get all of these rewards wow. here during your personal rewards CVC. I am completely free to play currently. I have not bought anything in preparation for this CVC. I'm on three accounts here. Main account, this is my alt account. And this is my wife's account, Warrior Circle Pack here. This proves that I haven't bought anything recently. In light of the new rewards, I'm sure that many of you have a spark of interest, at the very least, now in doing CBC. I mean, look at this. Six-star mythical gear. Assuming you scored high enough in the last CBC, so you only get personal rewards if your clan wins the CBC matchup against the opposing clan. You can win, and you can do this. One thing that helps prior to CBC is being conservative and disciplined with your resources, especially if you're free to play. Raid does an excellent job. They do a terrific job at inciting FOMO. They pump out events left and right, and they're like, oh, hey, you know, do this event. You're not going to want to miss out on that. Stop. It's our job to maintain steadfast discipline within ourselves, to know and decide with intent where and when we are going to spend our resources. You don't have to do everything that Polarium pushes out. You can decide for yourself and say, hey, I don't want to do this three times drop speed event for a dragon. I'd rather save my energy. That was tip number one, be conservative with your resources. Tip number two, check the objectives page. This is the objectives page. You can check to see what they're giving two times points for. Now, granted, there is a 40,000 point limit, but it's still points that you can get, especially if you're already going to be doing these things. And also you might decide, oh, look here, Sand Devil and Shogun have two X points. Well, now I am going to be doing Sand Devil and I'm going to be doing Shogun this time around instead of solely only doing Spider because that was like the main thing that I was doing to get points during CBC. It's all about min-maxing your points. All of this adds up. On that same tangent, number three, running dungeons. Pay attention to this one. Super raids do not help you in CBC. You're not going to have your points multiplied, but run them one at a time. Second note for tip number three on running dungeons. The hard dungeons give more points than their normal counterparts. Here we're going to run stage 20, normal, and here we're going to run stage 10, hard. For spider normal 20, I only got 200 points, but I got double that by doing the hard dungeon. If you can choose to do normal versus hard, do hard. Why not get the extra silver or the higher chance for getting the mythical gear of course run whatever is most efficient for your account even if you're running hard one versus spider 25 you still get more points for cvc doing hard one number four pulling new champions i came out with a video talking about a trick that you can do to save and delay collecting your seven day login champion i still haven't pulled them so let's pull them right here congratulations see look at that thirty thousand points another thing you can do is save champions from doom tower and you can even do that with frag champions from past fusions keep them in your portal if they are aren't going to be account changing instantly, then be a little patient, pull during CVC. You could also save for a champ chase event for a fusion that you really want. Speaking of champions, you probably already know about this by now. Saving books for champions. I remember during COVID, this wasn't intentional. I had saved over 100 legendary tomes. It was a time where I just, I wasn't really that deep into the game. I didn't really have the fire for it. So I was kind of playing it passively. I was doing my clan boss and that was it. Probably one of the best ways of getting points is by doing tag team arena as you can see here in silver three getting 495 per battle gold four of 3v3 i'm getting 780 but here's what you do you have to set one man defenses at reset you're gonna get hit and you're gonna drop all the way down when you are 1000 points and below most of everybody that you're gonna fight down here is gonna be one man teams shooting fish in a barrel it's best to set the one man defenses in tag team arena from reset put your teams back on thursday if you want to stay within your rank if you want to rank up then put them back a day earlier on Wednesday. I've been told that being in Gold 4 is a lot easier. I think that's true. Everybody here in Gold 4 is kind of on the same page. Everybody's just trying to farm CBC points. Everybody knows the drill. Here in Silver 3, not everybody's on the same page, so it's kind of hard to do that here in the lower tiers. Another thing you can do is you go to Gem Shop and you can buy these Tag Arena refills. And you would buy them up to 90. I'll show you right now. So you can buy. It increases the cost of the gems per refill up until 90, and that's when you want to buy your last one. All right, number six. 
7, Great Hall Upgrades. If you happen to have your Great Hall maxed out, skip to the next part because you probably know what you're doing already. But if you're not maxed out yet, you can get a lot of points from upgrades. Let me show you. For example, going from 7 to 8, that's 2,500. Unfortunately, we don't get CVC points for doing upgrades in Live Arena. We do that. It says upgrade successful, but nothing comes of it for CVC. And moving on to number 9, upgrading gear. During CVC is when I do my gear cleanses because you can get points upgrading your gear from 1 to 4 to 8 to 12 to 16. And it shows right here, upgrading a 6-star artifact or accessory to so level 16 gets you 1500 points ascension for gear if you're trying to ascend your gear if it's not going to help you immediately wait till cbc now would be a good time to sort through your gear and find out what you do and don't want to keep you go through your gear one by one you roll a piece of gear up to eight or you can roll it to 12 if you like the way it rolls or if you don't like the way it rolls you can either sell it or keep it if you want to learn more about how to do gear cleanses or more specifically about how i do gear cleanses i have a video on that. Now, number nine forging gear now if you are diligent about your resources you're doing your classic arena, faction wars, events, and you've been saving up your materials for the forge, now would be the time to forge. Especially when you're neck and neck with the opposition, and moreover, when you're in the last few 5-10 minutes of CVC and, and you don't know who's going to win and you think they might try to snipe you, pump out and forge a bunch of gear, you can jump up quite a bit and possibly save the win. Number 10, using glyphs. A smaller way to get points, but points are points. Save your glyphs, glyph up during CVC. Number 11. When you do Faction Wars and you're doing Faction Wars Stage 21, you can actually get a lot of points. Here it is. Look at the big difference between doing Stage 20 versus Stage 21. You get 4,000 points here versus 1,000 points here. Oh, I'm in Super Battles. Or, or two, X, 2 times Battles for, for this one. But that would still be 2,000 points. So you get double points here versus doing just Stage 20. Another way is by getting all the chests that you can get. Those are all points. Don't feel pressured to do CBC. If you don't want to do CBC, don't do CBC. My clan won. I just wanted to show you guys using the methods that I talked about that it is possible and I've proven it. I didn't buy anything. And it's the same thing here on this account. Warrior Circle Pack. I didn't buy anything either. 486,000 on the alt. 547,000 on the main. These are both me up here. All of these personal rewards, specifically the mythical pieces here that I was really looking forward to. And let's go take a look at them real quick. HP with speed. We're going to keep it. Crit rate on a crit damage. I hope, I hope, I hope that I get the penta rolls here. This is, this is a beautiful piece here. Hopefully nothing goes onto the flat. And accuracy. Accuracy, HP percent, attack percent, speed. It was worth pushing. You know, you could run Fire Knight and Dragon for a while, possibly even months, and not get a good drop. You might never come across a piece like this. Well, not never, but it's going to take a while. Potentially, probably more than likely in my opinion it's unprofessional it's unfound non-empirical you guys can do it too now compared to whales these are pretty chump numbers